I lost my account. Or at least that's what I thought happened. Click on the account retrieval button. This will grant you access to your original Honkai account. Wait, UID. that's it? So I got it back. And I have a new account to go with it. Oh, I thought to myself, hey, why not play both accounts and see what the experience is like playing as both a new player and a returning. <laughs> this idea sounded way better in my head, honestly. So one of the reasons why I started two accounts in the first place was because I find myself dropping Honkai not long after I started. Because while the returning missions are helpful, there's a lot of lore I miss out on and I just don't feel worth this catching up to. Such as things like this, this, and wait, Sumeru? Having a new account should at least give me a bit of breathing space and give me more than enough time to catch up on the lore, right? Right? Another reason I wanted to make this video is to see if it's worth getting back into Honkai in current year. And if you are a veteran, if it's worth coming back to this game. So hey, two videos in one. Considering how old this game is, you'd think there'd be a ton of events you missed out on, lore you don't know, or just stuff you could never go back and try, and... You'd be right. Mostly. Toyoverse knows that Honkai is an old game, and thanks to the success of Genshin Impact, it indirectly contributed to the increase of Honkai's player base as well. And to compensate for how old it is, it does try to make the game more beginner friendly. Because while MiHoYo are greedy, Crazy concept, I know. They still want to keep you for the long haul. The game does a very good job at making the story bite-sized, and they teach you the in-game mechanics, although you don't really feel the weight of them in the early game, especially if you pull on the beginner banner. Speaking of the beginner banner, this game is very, very generous in the early game. For example, you get an s rank character just for logging in on day 2, and her weapon if you do a certain mission later on. And if you pay for the extra content, you get another Hersher and a bunch of extra crystals to pull for whatever characters you want. And if that weren't enough, you get ANOTHER s rank character just for playing the game. So all in all, that's three s rank characters you get from the start of the game, two of which are completely free. But that's not all. Remember that beginner banner I mentioned? Yeah, THESE are the raid up characters. While other games may give you a few okay characters here and there, yeah, Honkai just gives you a banner with arguably two of the best characters in the whole game. Hersher Flame Sension, or Fire Kiana, to those of you who are new, is practically the best DPS for fire units and will continue to be for quite some time unless Honkai decides this number isn't high enough. And Hersher of Sentience, or Zoom or Fuhua, is the best physical support in this game, and I use that word support very loosely because, well... Yeah, I think it speaks for itself. One more thing I'd like to add is that the beginner handbook, it's essentially the tutorial for this game and teaches you where to go, what to do, and hey, what's that? And for completing each section, you get a reward which, of course, is another S-rank selector. Seriously, there's not a better time to get into the game than now with all the S-rank characters, they're just shoving down your throat. But, but, let's relax a bit now. I know it's exciting and all to have so many free S ranks just thrown in your face, and you want to put them all on the same team. But remember, you're a newbie, and this honeymoon period will fade. It'll take a while, but it will, which is why I advise you to build a proper team. If you manage to pull this Fuhua, I recommend you build a physical team. If you manage to pull this Kiana, I recommend you build a fire team. If you paid for a reason, or Bronia in this matter, an ice team, and if you play long enough to buy Rita from the handbook, then a lightning team. If you're wondering which one of the four are the strongest right now, I would argue that Kiana is still incredibly strong, even with 
her finality form coming soon, with Fuhua being very close behind. So I would recommend you'd either pick those two, as it would just make your progression as a free-to-play much, much easier. The other two aren't bad, but you do need some extra characters to make them shine, and they are not as easy to get. If you need more information, I recommend Moonshine's video, link will be in the description. He's the one who helped me get back my account, and this video wouldn't be possible without him. So, hey, thanks Moonshine. You probably don't know me, but that's fine. The rewards here aren't as exciting unfortunately, but you still do get an A rank and an SP rank character with bonus crystals on top of it if you accumulate enough of whatever this is. I haven't been able to figure out how to do the returning mission so there's no way in hell I'm able to get the bigger rewards. But what do you can get out of coming back anyway? Well for starters, they give you 1000 crystals to get you back on your feet and a bunch of asteroids which I learned is very valuable and I just have a fortune sitting in my account. Ah. But apart from that, you aren't really given a clear direction as to where you should go from here, and there's a lot of things to do at once, and sometimes you may get overwhelmed by information overload, whether it be due to the lore or the hundreds of events. So here's a mini guide for those of you who do decide to come back. Ignore the lore on your first week and just look up a YouTube video that summarizes everything for you to quickly catch up on. If you have the time, ignore the events for now and just play Mirage, Elysium, Open World, and Memorial Arena, and Abyss, until you feel comfortable enough to come back and play the events. Don't try the story just yet, because I swear there is so much content to go through. I am not joking when I say one of these cutscenes could be up to half an hour long, or more. Like, yeah, it's interesting Honkai how space-time works, but could you give me more than five minutes of gameplay before I go back reading? And if your account is as screwed as mine because I didn't know how to build a proper team, again, refer back to Moonshine for all your Honkai guides, and remember to do the Material Expedition that gives you this and this, and the Mirage that gives you the resources to craft better weapons as well. It may not seem like much, but a little change in weapons and stigmata can help you clear floors much easier and make your endgame so much easier to handle. So from the standpoint of someone who's played both as a new player and an old player in this era of Honkai, has the game gotten more and more pay to win over the years? Fortunately, no! You can clear almost all content in Honkai using only free to play characters, and if weapons and stigmata are the main problem for you, you can always craft free to play options to forge better weapons and stigmata some of these aren't half bad either. Getting currency and characters in this game is not too difficult. I've played the game on and off for a while and managed to get myself some pretty decent units. And even now, they're giving away free Hershers just for playing the event, which of course I miss. Abyss, Memorial Arena, Elysium, Open World all give crystals at varying degree, but with enough effort, you could accumulate enough to get almost any character you want. In the description, I found a list of someone who managed to be able to farm crystals and what their daily routine is. I will link that in the description if you do need a more comprehensive guide. Overall, here's my two cents on the subject. If your account is screwed like mine is, then I recommend you just start from zero and build your way back up. The game is very generous and you'll have an easier time absorbing information. In fact, this is the route I would recommend for almost everyone who has been away from the game for at least a year. However, if you feel like you have a fair amount of knowledge in the game, as such as knowing what the foundry is, knowing what elements are, knowing how to build themes, or just knowing the lore of this game, then go back to your old account. Or, you know, you have some stuff in your account that you don't want to lose and you've been working for them since year one and you just can't get them anymore because Honkai refuses to put them back in the game. Then go back to your old account. It's still worth it, even in this era. There's more than enough content to get you back on your feet, and they constantly have new events that just give free stuff away, like this Fuhua Gauntlet that's no longer available because I'm late to make videos. Uh, on the flip side, I am uh, because I'm late to make this video, hey look, a free Harsher Flame Sension.
Honkai is a special game to me for several reasons. It's one of the few action games that I've played, and it's what got me so many friends so many years ago. Talking about it, listening to Night Glow on days on end, and just having fun with the game. It's interesting to see how the game has evolved after so many years, and with the release of the Hersher Finality, Reason, and Origin, I think it's safe to say that we're finally approaching the climax of what looks to be Honkai's final chapters. It's been a wild ride, I won't lie. And I'm a little sad to see it go. But I'm just excited to see how it will end, and I hope you will be there as well.